Today, we're at the University of Saskatchewan, where the coach of the women's hockey team will be giving us a tour of their facilities. Players get injured all the time, every day. Yeah, but unlike other athletes, they play through it. <laughs> That's true. Unlike soccer, right? Yeah. So this is physio. We have four physiotherapists. Wow, look at this place. And uh, um, like every, every team has a team doctor. So our team doctor will work out of here too. When players get injured, this is where they come. I was actually on that bench a week ago because I hurt my shoulder and they were working on me. So this, this is the only anti-gravity treadmill in Saskatchewan. So this is three quarters of a million dollars. So, so right now I have a player that's recovering from a broken leg. So they'll, as she gets, um, as she's recovering, they'll, they can apply more, like they can take, I think right now when they started her, they said they're going to start her with like 25% of her body weight. I guess it would be similar to like an underwater treadmill because it holds your weight, but here they can control how much of your weight. This is the only one in Saskatchewan. On campus, we have our, actually we have our own MRI um, machine that our team doctors can use. So luckily, like our players get to jump the queue. So this was nice because when, when we're in the other facility, we had the rink here, um, we had physio in another building, we had the weight room in another building, two buildings actually, so like they were just everywhere. <coughs> so the nice, the, yeah, the nice place about this is that, like that our athlete that walked in the door here, like she came before you guys. Yeah. Okay. She forgot her key. Like our players all have keys so they can come and go when they want. She's coming in for a workout. So her, our weight room is just down the, the hall. So they come here and they just they work out, they go train, they can have a shower, they hmm. go in the recovery room or whatever and then so you'll you'll see they they can spend all day here. Like what you know. Yeah. See what they said. Then we'll get us. Get good. Get my power. So this guy, he donated twelve million dollars. Wow. Anyway, who's in town? We'll get, like if it's Alberta, maybe we'll get 600. Like opening night, we had 600. 600 a ticket? No, 600, 600 person. <laughs> oh. There are people. Okay. Opening night when we opened it, yeah. we had, I think we had like 1,800 people. Wow. Yeah. So. I, thought, right. I thought maybe like scalpers or something. Yeah, <laughs> no, there's lots of seats. This is where all the magic happens. Um, all the high schools had their graduation over here. And then, uh, like a uh, community, like a, our Polytech had their mm. uh, convocation in here. And then it, it's meant to hold like small concerts too, because it, it's uh, 20, 2800 seating. Okay. And if they close it in, then it'll be hit, it'll seat uh, 3300. Hmm. So this is uh, this is student section, because okay. that's where the opposition goalie sits. Yeah. For, ah. for two out of perfect, perfect. Two out of three uh, periods. And the student section, like, so, beers are there. The student section will beer, build those uh, beer pyramids with the cups. Oh, yeah. Nice. And then the players love jumping into it to oh, yeah. crash them down. So. And then these are uh, regular seats. And then me, I have two seats, season tickets over there. Grant has two, four season tickets. And then I get two coaches passes, and these guys, like, so we them. the middle seats are padded and the VIP seats and that's where they'll, they'll deliver your food and drinks. Yeah. And hmm. stuff. Club section. Yeah. So we have two rinks here. So this is this is our main competition rink. And then that's, that side is our, our practice rink. And the public is very right? This is where the media sets up. This is their view. The head coach said I could do this, so here I am. But he doesn't own the building. Oh, but he's the head coach. All right. Oh, there's like a little bit of... There. Oh, it's Velcro. Ah. Oh, look, there's someone practicing. There's the practice rink. There's the football and soccer field just outside of the ice rink. This is the back way in. You can have this subscribe you're, to me some. You're, you're okay with this being on YouTube, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got video of you taking down the wreck in the joint. <laughs> yeah. And the coach told me to do this. Oh, okay. 
really so you of us why there's no why <laughs> You're supposed to be his production. Yeah. yeah. Production Yeah, they are. Well, there's a K. In Saskatchewan, we spell huskies with a Y. <laughs> Steve, he's printing that on capital singular. Why is it husky fan? H U S K I E fan. Right that's a here. separate app. Yeah. That's a separate. That's a media. We usually sit right here. Yeah. Uh, but but it's not H U S K Y. No, it's I E. No, it's IE. That's, it is? Yeah. So the singular they is did not IE? Make a, they did not make a mistake in the seats. That's how we spell our name. Oh. So when I get recruits that send me, hey, I would like to be a Husky and they spell it Y, I just delete. Oh, so that's on purpose. <laughs> that's like a test. No, it's like a dog. A dog. Yeah. Yeah, our but mascot's it's, the dog, right? Yeah. yeah. Or, but that's how you spell Husky, right? With is it? Y. IE? Yeah, yeah, singular. Singular is Y. Yeah. Right, so. Yeah. But. So Mr. Hockey, Gordy Howe. From Saskatoon area. There's two NBA size uh, basketball for two. And the women's team is on right now. Or a couple of them anyways. Okay. Nobody sees this area. These are, these are only for my Patreon. Only for those 32. No, only for my zero. This is an exclusive tour, and Coach Cook said it was okay. So, basketball teams are housed in here. The two soccer teams are housed in here. This is women's soccer. So this is, this is recovery room. Oh. Ah oh, man. Ah, oh, look at those outboard engines. Oh yeah. Wow, look at this. So after games, after workouts, after practices, players are coming in here and um, well, recover. So they have three cold tubs they can, or hot tubs they can turn into hot tubs. Those are those are Norbitech machines. So what they do is they circulate your blood though. So they have. We have three or four for the legs, a couple for the hips, a couple for the shoulders. And it just, it, it squeezes your body sequentially, I guess, and then helps blood circulation. And then these are game readies. So these are the same thing, except they have ice water running through them. Mm. So at the same time that you get circulation, you get ice going through whatever part needs or do so. Wow. So this is where players come after practices, after workouts. Uh, and this is games. exclusively for the oh, uh, for the hockey subscribers. No, <laughs> <laughs> this is exclusively for the hockey players. Yeah, and your subscribers. And my subscribers. <laughs> no, basketball comes. Basketball, oh, basketball? uses as well. Okay. Yeah. So there's six teams that are housed in here. Okay. Yeah, but basketball and uh, or soccer is done usually by the time we get going. And us in basketball typically have the same seasons. So sometimes, sometimes our physios will come down here and treat athletes instead, just depending on what the situation is. So after games, after practices, our physios will probably come in here. Get the zoom in on the dirty bit. Yes. <laughs> Ex exclusive. <laughs> exclusive access. Okay, so this is exclusive. <laughs> Door. All right. So this is uh, this is hockey only. So now we're entering our player suite is what wow. we call it. This. So from this door all the way down to that's, the far end. That's you. Well, that's right? one of me. Yeah. <laughs> so our players have it's like it's a, it's a secure place. Mm. So they can come and go. Uh, they don't have to worry about like. Joe Public or anyone else walking through or anything. Is this like just that. for the men, women's side or both? Well, we have half, the men have half. Yeah. But we don't share any space. Uh, they have their own, we have our own. Yeah. All right. It's 442. That's okay. No, I mean, it's, it's on the <laughs> thing up there. Okay, so one of the rooms that we share is a video room. Oh, this guy, this is donated by Terry Steel. Everything. There you go, we have a narrative. You told me that because you. Look at this, this is really 3D. So this is video room. Wow, look at this. 
Man. Also, double, double the study hall. So we'll do game film in here. We'll do practice video in here. Players are welcome to study in here if they want to. We, have, we brought the benches from our old break. That's the Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And then uh, power is through the floor and run up into the uh, table so that when players sit here and they're doing homework on their laptops, then they can plug in, all that sort of stuff. But we do a lot of game filming here, pre-game, post-game, practice video or stuff like that. Is that like a smart touch TV? It is. It's smarter than me. <laughs> So this is how we get to our player bench. Yeah, so this is our this is our home bench. Wow, look at this. This is where it all happens. And we're sitting up there going, no. <laughs> I can hear you. Wait, can here. Hear you this is the coach's vantage point. <laughs> it's encouraged. Oh, he's going over. <laughs> Philip, get off the ice! <laughs> too many men, too many men. Oh, no, that was Tampa's. Yeah. This is the busiest room in the Oh, busiest. And the biggest. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. These aren't their uniforms, are they? Look how little they are. I know. <laughs> so we have summer, we have summer programs. Oh. And uh, we have nine summer programs. Ages from seven-year-olds to 15-year-olds that hmm. pay to wear are like pay to be our spring teams. Wow. Yeah. So this is their jerseys. This would be the youngest. This would be the youngest group. These would be the seven-year-olds. Two industrial dryers, uh, washers, two industrial dryers, and it's it's going all the time. We do their undergear every day. They do their shower towels every day. Practice the jerseys get washed every every other day. So we could bring our down sleeping bags in here. <laughs> this will be edited out <laughs> or not. Are there any um, like native Saskatchewan, like born people that are players on the team? I think we only have four from, from Saskatoon, mm -hmm. but I think we have 13 from Saskatchewan. Right. The rest are from Alberta, Manitoba. Mm. So this, this is our trainer group. So we have four trainers that work with the team in, in addition to the physio. So they'll, this is where they'll do, right now we store a bunch of crap in here. Um, but this is where they'll get taped and stuff every day. Get one so this is my office. Uh, uh, I'm going to office. Hey, he's got food. So <laughs> is, is, there's drinks in the fridge too. Wow, oh, look at this. This is this is where all the magic happens. Here's the roster. This was the Rutherford rink, old rink. That was the old rink. Oh. His daughter put it together for him. Wow. Before it was torn down. Oh man. Or I think it's still up there. Actually, we should walk by it. So this is our locker room. Doesn't stink, it's great. No, our goalie is still here. Oh. Still training. Oh, and there's there's the pads. Oh man. Remy, go be a goalie. Just remember, there may be people with more talent than you, but there's no excuse for anyone to work harder than you. And I spent two days with the Winnipeg Jets because I have a friend there who's in their cooking manager. And the front of the room cabinet is exactly their front of the room cabinet. I had to measure out all the Jets. drawers and everything. I said, and I came back and I said to our builders, I said, can you build this for us? They said, yeah, we can build that for us. So, so we copied a lot of this from other rings. The owner of the Jets, Winnipeg Jets, actually told us to take the logo off the floor. He said that when, when the coach walks in, as soon as he gets anywhere near the logo, the players get distracted and they're like, oh my gosh, he's going to step on the logo. Is there anybody in here that could potentially be on the Olympic team? Yeah, so this kid here is part of the national team, national program. Um, one of our players that graduated, that sitting beside number two, she's gone now, but she played um, she was part of the national program. They have to have their, their stuff in a certain order, otherwise our equipment manager will find them. So mm -hmm. pads on one hook, shoulder pads on another. Like it has to be a certain way. So this is their dry locker. What will happen is this is player's entrance. So players will come in this way. <clears throat> they'll come in, they'll leave their shoes here, they'll get into whatever they wear at the rink. So they'll get changed into shorts or whatever. Yeah, they leave their street clothes, they leave their jackets, they leave their backpacks. 
because it's a, a secure space, and they, you know, they feel safe wearing shorts and t-shirts, whatever their workout gear is, and they can just, this is their own space, so. They'll get changed here so that none of this outside stuff is in the main room. Washrooms, extra mirror here ready. Oh, oh, yeah. Where did they put their makeup on? Ah! Right there. Right there. Right there. That's it. This is the player's lounge. Wow. I think it's where they hang out. Pretty cool. They're free to hang out here all day, play week. Wow. Look at this Watch place. TV, have a nap. Um, we'll keep the fridge stocked. There'll be coffee, bagels, cheese, yogurt, uh, cereal, oatmeal, whatever. <laughs> So a lot of times, some, sometimes in the mornings, I'll get here and coffee will already be made. There'll be players here doing homework, studying, watching TV, whatever, having a nap. This is why Bill Pye said that they can live here. <laughs> Don't show the fridge. <laughs> I didn't open that. Your name's there. Yeah. Well, that's my stuff. What do you have to wear? Yeah, what do you have to change? Well, we, this, well, we'll wear tracksuits on the ice. Gloves, we'll put on our skates in here. This is where coaches change. So when we built this, intentionally wanted the, the player lounge in the middle. When they first did our drawings, they had our player lounge like an outside room. But we, I wanted it inside. So they actually had to walk by people to see their teammates and not just be able to pop in and pop out. And then I wanted it in the center so that coaches could meet in there if they wanted to see players. So we try to see players every day, right? And just not always about hockey. It's like, hey, how's your day? What's going on? So who are these other two Assistant coach, assistant coach, assistant coach, goaltender coach, video coach. So where are those from? Is that from the old? <laughs> These are extra stands. Extra oh, seats. okay. Yeah. So those aren't like from another. So when they when the... they well he they said hey we have some extra seats. I said I'll take them. So those are the ones that they spell you up as though. Yeah, I guess they do the great ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's where the Y was, but they made a mistake. <laughs> they spelled it wrong no, and they took it out. Cause... No. <laughs>